What is up everybody? How y'all doing? It is your boy Hale Brawley and we got a spicy video for you today. I am pretty, pretty defeated. I wouldn't say extremely defeated, but defeated enough because I don't know why we would have to constantly talk about this person. Because he is a wall cow, but he can't help himself. He can't stop. I was going to make a freaking Red Hot Chili Peppers meme reference there but I digress we are talking about a degenerate who likes to go on discord talking to minors who has done some very questionable things who's into role-playing as a child himself for sexual gratification he goes by the name Nova online yeah we are talking about this person if you want to know more, go look at the Tom Dark channel. Or not Tom Dark. Turkey Tom, who's done a video about this guy. Or Smoky Mixie. Or Kiwi Tapes. They've all covered this person. I'm just here to read the comments that, got, that are against this person. Because they are so, so great. Because this person just got into drama recently. Because he decided he was going to start another Discord server. Where he had minors again and people were saying no make the server 18 plus he can't freaking do it because he is a predator and if he isn't himself the people he surrounds himself with are because one was being very very inappropriate with a minor who was 31 years old so we're gonna get right into this coming for perp drink wizard I found this image that Nova Online took posing with some strange red and black flags. And the image is. It's obviously Photoshop, but it's Nova right behind a boat that has Trump flags with swastikas. It is great. It's hilarious. I might make that the thumbnail for this video because Nova deserves it, in my opinion. So we're going to move on to the next one from Yellow Throated Warbler. Make sure to tune in to Who's Too High for Stupid, God I can't speak right now, to watch Smokey McSee and Kiwi Tapes smoke all of Nova's Kava live. You know what? Go watch Too High for Stupid. It's a great podcast between Smokey and Kiwi. They do a great job covering drama and just low cause in general. I might look into talking with them and seeing if I could get in as a guest every once in a while because I love talking about one cause myself. So we're just gonna keep on going along. Shall we? Yes. And then Kiwi responds to that specific tweet that I just responded or read. He ain't my boy, but the brother is heavy. And then we get from Turd Burger the Turd Burglar. Don't worry, Kiwi. I'll keep you safe from Pamper Chew Light. That's another old guy we might have to cover later. Or you could go watch Deadwig and Dork. Then Yellow Throated Warbler responds to that, saying, "But you can, but can you stand up to Sailor Groom?" <coughs> Sorry, I coughed. I'm still getting over being sick. And then you get all these damn things. It's just a bunch of images. You get one that's a Photoshop, or not a Photoshop, a drawing of Nova as Yajirobe from Dragon Ball Z, which he does look like Yajirobe, let's be real. So we're going to move on to the YouTube comments now. Balthazar Bullman says, Chamova's mom has got it going on. That's a great one. I love it. Absolutely great. Then you got John John Kuhn. When Nova's hair eventually starts thinning, will he be rocking a chum over? Because people have been calling Nova Chumova recently. It's great. Then you get Sink Drain Revioli 8196 saying, Nova being a useless son is so unsurprising. That is a little harsh, but eh, considering everything, that's probably true. From Crow's Not Home. Large Gabriel wants to kiss Kiwi so bad it makes him look stupid. Then we got Kropothid, Nova's predator with poop on his wall, which 
Smokey and Kiwi have talked about, there is poop on the walls inside his house. Oh boy. Alright, Stingy says, Never forget the truth comes out in the end eventually, guys. And the truth is, Nova is a predator. I agree with that. Vroom Grimblow says, That poor kid. No 15 year old should have to comfort a grown ass stranger. It's genuinely sick that Nova needs to surround himself with minors so that they can coddle him. It all goes back to the age play shit, I swear. So, to give you some context, the first thing that caused Nova to become a law guy was of him singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star doing age play with minors, which he always tries to deny, but there's video proof of it. He also tried to start a podcast with a 15 year old girl where he flirted with her. Highly inappropriate. But, but he's not a predator, guys. At least that's what he says. So we're just going to keep on moving along because otherwise we'd be going down a rabbit hole. And then you got X Slim Sadie X. My husband got one of those grilled cheeses from Denny's that Nova reviewed, and we couldn't stop joking about him the entire time. From Just a Brick Gaming 716, Nova's the type of guy who'd get arrested for something so heinous and say that was a fucking disaster. Yep. There's also a meme of Nova when he was working asking about a French onion soup. So we got Andreas Schaffling, 4233. Doing a great impression, typing as Nova as if he was actually speaking. Like, Can I get a flame chilling in food, please? Then you have Pro Ape 6052, who says the craziest thing is that bovine universe here knows a lot about Christian, and he can't recognize the irony. He thinks that he legit has a fan base, even though pretty much everyone in this his server started spamming Nova's a predator as soon as the troll seized control. Also, Nova and the White Bowser are predators. No, uh, White Bowser might be someone else I might cover in a later video. Then we have Autumn Gloom who said, I saw Nova IRL the other day. I was actually stunned. I always thought I'd ask for a picture and crack some jokes. He actually made me nervous. That's a big yikes. That's a big yikes. From VOG VOG. If Bowser was the Prince of Predators, then Nova might as well be the Duke of Diddlers. Okay, that is a clever, that is very clever. I like that. And then you get Tibisen Linne, 4014, saying, My partner reminded me that our local Nova was obsessed with me when I was the front of house manager at a green noodle shop. I think I blocked it out of my memory for obvious reasons. But basically, one day he came to our patio. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. That's what caused me to cough. But basically, one day he came to our patio to show me his katana skills in the middle of lunch rush. I had to sit there in agony, begging the gods to smite me then and there. If that's true. Oh my god. No, but why are you like this? Then you have Shit Squirrel Knight. Dude, I used to be terminally online and spent years on Discord gaming with people. I never encountered anything like this shit in this video. Don't even recall hearing about something like that happening to anyone I knew either. Showing off to high toys, god I can't speak right now, or your privates on a public Discord with kids around, WTF. Either I chose my community as well or I got lucky. This is very, very, very blatantly an issue with who is there and who is associating with that community. Not people who use Discord in general. The people who are constantly drawn to communities or people like Nova seem to be repeat offenders. And it's easy when all you need is a new server or new account. Or just change the account name if you're feeling like a lazy predator. I agree with that. I absolutely 100% agree with that, but I wasn't terminally online. Then you have I'm J Roberts. Not sure if you'll see this, but I was in the server on and all. Nova server wasn't hacked. He would mod randoms with little to no vetting process. He also wouldn't listen to mods or junior mods at all. Nova wasn't even booted from the server. He left of his own volition. 
There was no hacking, exploits, or even social engineering involved. Also the X mod from your last Nova video. Sequoia Mike was 31. This is the guy that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. And kept engaging with and lewd conversations in the chat despite knowing minors were in there. The real reason he left was because Nova didn't give him any accolades for doing what he agreed to. He left after throwing a huge fit. So if that's also true, holy shit, this is just proving everything that people say about Nova. Then you have this final comment from Godimus. It's not hard to make a server 18 and up. Once you find out someone is breaking that rule, politely excuse them until old enough. We do it in our server and we have never had a problem. If he's allowing this, then he's actually encouraging it. Nova is the new Pred. Well fucking said. Anyways, that is going to be it for just reading the comments. Now I'm going to give my thoughts. Knowing all this and seeing previous videos about Nova, Nova is a freak. Nova is a degenerate. I will say that time and time again, proudly with my chest, because Nova doing all this shit is not right. Also, I have to go, I can't believe I have to go on the record and say this. If you're gonna run a server where you're age playing, don't have miners around. I know that might be a hot take for some because people who love Discord will refuse to listen to anyone who has any look at common sense, but just don't fucking do it. It's that simple. Otherwise you're going to end up being blasted just like Nova. And also Nova has gone out of his way to try to say that this is all because of Kiwi, all because of trolls and the Kiwi farms. The Kiwi farms just finds people like Nova, Christian, White Bowser, and catalogs everything they do on the internet or say because these people cannot help themselves. Once you say something or do something that people find reprehensible or stupid, people are going to constantly clip it and just post it and be like, hey, this was you, wasn't it? And it's only going to make you look worse and worse. That's why you got to stop. Because if you don't want to become the next Christian, don't fucking do this shit. It's that simple. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Now fuck off.